Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do my January setup and for that I'm planning to use the colors orange and green which are the prominent colors of Indian national flag. As we have Republic Day in January, I couldn't think of anything else to be the theme. And I'm using these oil pistols and uh, some color pencil and fine liners for that. This is the first time I'm doing a themed monthly setup. I usually go for a minimal setup. So let's get started. On the first spread, I am planning to write the name of the month and I am using oil pastels to uh, color the shades of orange on top and uh, greens on bottom. To get the orange or saffron, I am going with three colors, a primary red, orange and a yellow. Now I am blending all these three colors using a tissue paper. For green I am using two different shades of green and yellow. I'm writing January in block letters. I wanted to write it in blue glitter pen to match the Ashoka Chakra. But all I had was silver and gold so I went ahead with silver. On the next bed I'm making a January calendar. Going with the theme I'm using orange and green colors. Writing January in gold glitter pen as it looks orangish. I am highlighting the days of the week in orange and green. On the right side, I am going to list my monthly goals and giving some space to write any notes. I decided to do the tulips at the bottom and give them the theme colors like green for the leaves and orange flowers. This is the first time I am doodling or coloring my bullet journal spreads. Usually I use colors just to highlight or visually segregate tables. The next spread I am preparing a habit tracker and a mood tracker. For the header I am highlighting with orange. I am drawing little calendar outlines for each tracker and uh, highlighting the habits in green. My mood tracker is a graph because that's what makes more sense to me and I have given space for notes on the right side to write down anything if required for each date. Highlighting the dates in green to go with the theme and on right side I could write anything for that particular date. That's all the monthly spreads I'm having 
and now I'm preparing weekly spreads. I'm using a rolling weekly method here because uh, that is what works best for me because sometimes I use a whole page for a day and some days I use just two lines. I prepare a small calendar for my weekly planning and mark the week or highlight the week that is running. Then I have space to write my weekly goals and under that I will write the tasks for the week and will schedule them by marking them for the day under the calendar. So if you want to know more about how I plan my weekly, you can let me know in comments. I'll just prepare a separate video for that. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.